Good morning once again from the Sports Desk. You'll remember this. On the 11th of June, 2010, Kahisho Dikhachwi played one of the best passes of his football career. He set up Sipiwe Chabalala for the opening goal of that FIFA World Cup. That assist, of course, leading to the wonder strike that sent you and me and every other South African into a frenzy. Now, the former Bafana Bafana midfielder is providing assists of a different kind. Through his foundation, he's established a sports tournament in his home province of the Free State. The man himself joining me now via Zoom to talk about his tournament all the way from Bloemfontein. Kahisho, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for Nagawa Abutuaka. Let's, let's just talk about your, your, your tournament. Let's talk about what your foundation firstly is doing for the betterment of sport in this yeah. country. You yourself, uh, you know, are, are the fruit of someone's initiative to invest in your talent, someone who noticed how good you are at the sport of football and said to you, I'm going to give you an opportunity. And you took that opportunity all the way to England, you know, all the way to a FIFA World Cup. And now you are saying that I would like to do the same thing for somebody else, somebody else that might one day provide a similar assist as I did in a World Cup that can help South Africa score a goal that potentially could even maybe win uh, a game. Just talk to us about your vision for your foundation. Good morning, Morena, and good morning to the viewers. Um, uh, thanks again for the opportunity. Um, yes, we've held a, a tournament in Tabanchu on the 16th of June to the 18th. Uh, we had different sporting codes. We had netball, we had ladies' soccer, and men's soccer. And yeah, um, seeing that you know the the, the, the challenge of, of the development is, is has been a big issue in our country. Me and my team from from Gahashuri Hachu Foundation, we thought that like, I mean, let's let's uh, start something new, start something that would give an opportunity to the youth um, to fight the poverty. I mean, one can 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 get a job from obviously from from his career or whatever. And um, we 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 are a, a talented country. We we have so much talent in the free state. Um, we selected a squad. Uh, consisting of 25 men from different uh, football clubs. We're going to put them in camp next week where there's a possibility of a game against the Sotho National Team be preparing for Kosafa. Yeah. And and then after then, um, who knows, uh, someone would be watching from the stand. But like I said, our main aim is to, to change this, this, this guy's lives, you know, uh, help them stay away from the streets, from the crime, from the drugs and whatever. Kahusho, are you doing this? And you're not the only uh, former footballer and even current footballers. I know Dumelin Kune has got uh, a tournament of his own that he's running. A number of uh, South African stars mm. have decided that, you know what, uh, maybe Safa just needs our help, you know, as former footballers, as yes. footballers who have the influence because, you know, Safa can only do so much. Are you doing this because you feel like Safa is maybe failing at some point in development or Safa maybe just needs your guys' help, your guys' influence, your guys' resources to help them develop uh, football in this country? Yeah, I think they need our help. You know, um, South Africa is a big country. SAFA alone and its LFAs can't do this on themselves. Um, they need our, our help. You, you are right, the likes of E2 have got the teams that they're developing. I know Dino Njovu also. He's got uh, his foundation that is running. A lot of the guys that are doing that. And uh, I think with our help, um, if with our input, the experience we've gained, it will, it will also assist uh, Safa in, in helping these young boys to develop. What's well, about I can't avoid uh, asking you the question about your former uh, national team, which kind of still is your national team. You'll forever be South African and you'll forever support Mafana Bafana. Yes. Kahisho, Hugo Bros. He's qualified us for the AFCON next year. He's recently beaten the best team in Africa, that is Morocco. And it wasn't a team that came Gadi player za, 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 za B side. He came with the best players that he could, the head coach of Morocco. And Bafana Bafana beat them by two goals to one. Your thoughts on what Hugo Bros is doing? Is it something that South Africans can now start getting excited about? Because you know, Miss, a lot of South Africans don't rate this national team. But can we now start believing yeah. in this national team? Yeah, once again, congratulations to Bafana Bafana, to the coach, technical team, the players. Uh, I, I think it's about time we redeem ourselves. I've said this in my previous interviews that uh, Hugo Bruce is, 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 
he's someone that you've been missed. Um, he, he he is someone who, who who takes charge. You know, he he never gets bullied easily. Media or everyone at the top from suffer. He tend discount all the time, and luckily, uh, and. Uh, we we managed to qualify and we, we can only hope that we still do well in the AFCON and mm. possibly in the next qualifying games for the World Cup uh, because I believe we've, we've got the talent mm. and it's, it's, it's all about managing them and he's, he's been doing so well in trying to manage um, his players and mm. his selection has been so good. Yeah. Abuti, thank you so much for joining us. All the best with uh, what the Kahishu uh, Foundation continues to do. And thank you very much for, you know, doing the best you can to develop South African sport, not even just football, but even lending a hand in netball. All the best with everything uh, that you've got to go going on in the future.